Okay, um, got to my camp spot, camp is set, and uh, I'm going to put my rod together and go fishing for a little bit, see if I can catch a big one in here, and uh, I might walk up to a couple other lakes and fish too, and then come back here and settle in for the evening, but a uh, beautiful spot, as you can see behind me, gorgeous place, really happy to be here, this may be the last one out here in the UNS for the season, but uh, yeah, you know what, if it is, it's been a damn good one, really don't have much to complain about, so We'll check in a bit. Okay, there's my big Agnes Fly Creek HVUL2 tent. And then uh, this is kind of the fire pit area and the whatnot. And then uh, food hanging packer in the tree over there and a uh, pretty nice spot. And if you pan out here, nice place to have coffee in the morning. Let's go get after it. Got one after all that fishing. Holy cow, that was a lot of work. got myself a tiger. Okay, got me a nice tiger and the uh, east twin. Got a couple of brookies out of the west twin. Um, deep hooked my middle finger. That was fun. Um, yeah, I haven't done a ton of filming today, but gonna work on that. I'm heading back to camp. Just because it's getting a little later and it's going to get dark in a little bit. And uh, I want to be able to get my fire started and change into my night layers and stuff like that. But uh, pretty decent fishing here. Better than the last time I stayed here. So I'm going to get a move on. We'll check it at camp.
Okay, settling into camp for the evening. Got a hell of a sunset going on right now. You can see the peaks behind me. They've got the alpine glow tickling the, the peaks and stuff. And the uh, temperature definitely started dropping. Um, hell of a day. I got two in the uh, west twin, and I got a nice tiger in the east twin. Um, I also deep hooked my right middle finger, um, which really sucked. I had to pull that out. Um, my uh, pliers were up at camp. So I had to do that uh, by hand, and that was uh, definitely a juicy, squirty experience. So anyways, I'm going to settle in um, for the evening now. Got all my firewood collected, uh, water's done. Um, it's been a hell of a day. Had a great hike in here. Definitely got some fish. So, you know, uh, for mid-October, really can't complain. So I have a feeling it's going to get a little cold tonight. Um, we'll see how late we stay up. Uh, definitely want to try to shoot some photography if I can, and... Uh, you know, definitely going to have a good warm fire. And uh, when I am ready, I'm going to go jump in the sleeping bag and watch a movie and go to bed. So we'll check you in a bit. Top of the morning to you. It's day two here in the Uinas. Just got up and had breakfast and coffee, packed some stuff up. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go ahead and put it together and uh, head out. Um, great night last night. I had an awesome fire. I got a Milky Way time lapse. I also got a star trail last night. And um, as you'll see, I got some really nice Milky Way shots on the phone. Um, unbelievable. Um, not anywhere near my DSLR quality by any means. But uh, the fact that a phone could get that last night was unreal really really super cool so i'm gonna finish up this coffee and then we're gonna get rolling here so we'll check you in a bit cheers bald eagle look at that guy so rad there's our bald eagle friend pull around up there in the stratosphere He's just taking these thermal drafts and flying. Really cool to watch him circle these lakes up here. Supposedly a good omen if you see a bald eagle. So I'll take that any day of the week. Okay, all packed up and ready to go. 
I'm going to throw the pack on and get moving here. It's been a wonderful trip. Nice way to close out the Uinas for the year. Um, I don't think I'll be back out here backpacking until next spring, summertime. Um, so I'll probably be over in the Wasatch and uh, move into the winter activities. So it's been a great year on trail. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, getting the High Line knocked off uh, bucket list adventure. Um, really great year. 2022 is definitely going to go down as one of the best backpacking seasons ever. I'm going to hit the trail. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.